everyone. Thanks for joining in. Today I'm going to show you how to dye a beautiful silk scarf to go with this hat. There is a tutorial for this hat on my channel. Um, it's called Scarf Hat. So if you want to check that out, you can learn how to make the hat that we're going to um, use for this project. So I order these from Dharma Trading. The link will be in the description below. These are silk scarves and they are hemmed on the bottom, so that's nice. You don't want to get the unhemmed ones because I have made that mistake before. These scarves are eight inches wide by 72 inches long and they're just about the right size um, to thread through a hat like this one. These are called Habo Tie Silk Scarves, machine hemmed, and they are $4.39 each. They used to be a lot cheaper. Um, they've recently gone up. If you order 12 or more, they're $4.16. They don't really give you much of a break, so I'm not sure that that's worth it. Anywho, um, you're also going to need some regular vinegar, regular white vinegar. Um, some gloves to keep the dye from staining your hands. Some type of microwave safe dish. I like to use um, a glass Pyrex pan. I like one that's long because you can, it's easier to dye your scarf that way. Um, you can do it in a smaller one if that won't fit in your microwave. So you need something that's microwave safe that will fit in your microwave to do your scarf dyeing with. And then some type of little bowl just to soak your scarf in the vinegar and water solution. Then I'm going to use these Jacquard silk dyes that I also get from Dharma Trading. They come in all different colors. I just have a whole bunch of different colors here. I think you can get a pack that will give you five or six colors. I also use these little um, eyedroppers to drop my dye with. You can also use a paintbrush. So you don't have to use the eyedroppers. To change the color of the dye, you can mix it with water to make it a lighter shade. So I'm going to try to match the colors of this yarn. So I'm going to have to do some testing on a piece of paper to get my dye color adjusted. And that's all I need, we'll get started. So to begin, you need to soak your scarf in equal parts of vinegar and water. So depending on if you're just doing one scarf or two scarves, you can do one cup of vinegar and one cup of water. Um, that should be plenty and soak your scarf in it for about 30 seconds. I'm just going to use a half a cup because I'm only going to do one scarf right now. So one half a cup of vinegar, one half cup of cold water. Okay. And that should be plenty just to soak this scarf. So we want to soak it in there and the vinegar and water mixture. Let it sit for about 30 seconds. Between the vinegar and the microwaving, that will set the silk dye. And I will put the link for the Jacquard uh, Green Label silk dyes down in the description below. I believe these are about $3 a bottle. And they go pretty good, pretty long way. So... Let my scarf soak. I'm going to go ahead and wring it out and get the excess water out of it. And then I'm going to try to lay it evenly in this dish. I'm going to do one layer and then fold it over like so. So I keep folding over layers. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it will help for the dye to be a little more even. Okay, we can take the tag off later. So I'm going to set it down here on this dish like so. Okay. I also found that these little Dixie cups worked perfectly if you want to dilute some of your dye. Take a dropper and put some of the dye in there and add a little bit of water until you get the color that you want. Okay, I did kind of a test um, swab by mixing a color that I have that I think it'll be darker than the hat, but I think it'll look good because I've done it before. Um, this particular color is called Viridian Green. 
but it's not a it's it's an odd color green so when you mix water with it it comes out kind of like a minty minty green so remember when you're going to do colors for your scarf if you're going to do more than two I would not do three dark colors in other words so if you did if I did green and pink I might do a yellow um, because you have to remember they're going to bleed into each other and so you have to keep into Take into account what colors make what when they're mixed together. Okay, so if you had red and blue, there's going to be some purple in there. Okay, I've done this before, so I mixed a little bit of green, of that viridian green with a little bit of water. And I'm just going to take a dropper. I'm just going to drop some of this on the scarf. Like so. And it just depends on whether you want to leave some white um, or you want to um, have it all completely covered. I've done this before with this green and this pink. It looks really nice. And I left some of the white and it actually looked pretty. So there's nothing that says you can't leave some white on there. Okay, do some of this green. And this water lightens it up a little bit. Okay, I've done some of the green. Now I'm going to do a pink color. This is actually magenta. Okay. And this dye is hard to get off of your hands, so I highly recommend using gloves. So I'm going to try to drop it not directly on top of the green, but in between the other places where I have the green already. I think for this one, I'm just going to stick with the green and the pink. Otherwise, I think it gets just too busy. And then we're going to put it in the microwave. Okay, I'm going to put it in the microwave for about three minutes. Okay, and your scarf should be relatively dry if you have a 1,000 watt microwave, which is what I have. So now you can see this end, and this has quite a bit of dye color on it, and then it didn't quite go all the way through to this end. So, it's no problem. I'm going to go ahead and mix up some more of my Viridian Green, and I'm just gonna drop it a little bit on here. Okay, so after I added the extra green, onto the section that didn't have any. Um, you want to take it over to the sink and rinse it in cold water. And I'm really sorry I didn't show that part. I was trying to get ready for Thanksgiving dinner, so I had to hurry up and cut the video short. Um, anyway, I also ran a cool iron over it, and I usually do that when it's a little damp. So what I do is I take a, a blow dryer and actually dry it because this is such thin fabric that it dries really quickly. So I take a hair dryer to it, dry it a little bit, then when it's damp, run a very cool iron over it, and be careful not to get it too hot because it is really thin. And the heat, the additional heat from the iron will actually help to set the dye again. So with this silk dye heat, is what helps to set it. That's why you put it in the microwave. Um, it did bleed, you know, some of the pink, your pinks and your reds, as you probably know, like when you wash something, are always going to bleed onto the background. But that's kind of nice because then it's not just a stark white, it actually has a, a little pinkish background. So that is your scarf. This is the scarf in the hat itself. And these make for great chemo caps because I've had a lot of people tell me that, you know, it actually feels like they have something back there that's, you know, obviously not hair, but it actually helps them feel better to have something there and their heads get cold. So this is a really great project for a chemo cap. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel.